Now in the same file, we are going to create a new model, model number two. And now in this model, we are going to import our solid part, which is by that name. You can access it from um, Blackboard. Okay, this is our solid part. As you can see, it has the geometry has a thickness. What we are going to do, we will use the same materials, material as we used for analysis of the shell part. But the section now is going to be a solid homogeneous section. So we've got section and material, we can assign the section to our material to our part. And now we are going to mesh our part. The orange color color in the solid part means that this part is not meshable. When you try to mesh it, you can see that this he tells you to partition the part. So now we are going to partition this. We use this command partition and point and normal. And now we are going to cut all the part in the by the plane that will go across this point and will be normal to this value. You see that the whole part became yellow. Now we're going the same thing for the other side of the part of the truss. You see now all of it is yellow and green. To make it even easier, we're gonna now select the cells to partition, click point and click normal and create the partition here. And also select the cells to partition, create point and normal and cut off the top cord. Also should cut off the specially created legs. Now, as you can see, most of the part is over yellow or green. You should try to match the part now and remember to make the global size smaller. See, the highlighted regions failed to mesh. So we need either the smaller mesh size of around Try to mesh the part with the five global size, five centimeter of global size element. You see, now this is meshed. So we can either solve our meshing problem through partition or through changing global size to smaller. So some of the elements are not exactly perfect. Go to mesh, verify, done, and highlight the wrong mesh. So then you can see lots of elements are not having a correct aspect ratio. And then you see that the error is around 11.7%. So we can live with that for now. Let's go into the assembly. We are going to assemble our part. I'm going to create a static general step analysis. And we are going to create the load for pressure, remember to select now three top surfaces since the part was partitioned. Type the load as 10, exactly like in the shell model, and add the boundary condition. You see that I have specially created the legs for the truss to attach the boundary condition, but if you don't have them, you can attach it analogically to the shell model. Now we we'll use a pin the free translation blocked on our truss and now create a job solid one. We can make our uh, job work run faster by using four processor if you of course if you have four processor on your computer. Now I submit the job the job is submitted, running. You 
can monitor the job progress here all the warnings that are appearing are mostly because of the elements are distorted so the same thing that we've checked already here and that we are aware of so more partitioning or smaller element size would help that but we can see how much more how and does it actually influence our deformation? Because it should not influence much. Go to the results. After the analysis finish, you see that we have 0 0.2 deformation. So it is comparable to the one that we obtained in the uh, simplified method and the shell model.